Hello my loves, I'm Andrea and welcome to Life As I Know It. Today we're going to make some fun and easy Christmas DIYs. So if you're new, welcome aboard and if you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, think about sticking around and joining our family and going on this journey with us. And with that being said, let's get some flowers, let's get our wreaths and let's start crafting. Now we're going to take our netting and we're going to cut it into pieces. You can cut it any length you want. I would recommend six or more inches. Now you can get a cutting tube from the um, dollar store. And I have bought two and they've just not been worth it. So it's just, if you're going to use tubing a lot, then I would definitely invest, go to Michael's and um, use the 40% off coupon when they have it or percentage off or get one from Hobby Lobby. And then we're going to take Chanel stems. We're going to cut them in half and we're going to use that to um, tie our mesh together. So I use two mesh. You can use three. And then all you do is take the chenille stem and wrap it around it a couple times and then put it to side. And that's all we're going to do. We're going to cut up all our mesh, get it all together, and then we're going to go back to the frame. And you just scrunch it up just like that. You put it on a mat or that's it doesn't matter and you just roll it up. Now you're going to take the Chanel stems and you're going to attach them to the frame. So you just put it on here and just twist the bottom of the two Chanel stems together. And that's all you're going to do. You're going to get one, put it on here, attach it, make sure it's on there tight, and continue to put it on here. Now you can use different material for your candy cane. And as you see, I flipped it over and it might be easier for you to get it on there that way. This, we're going to make a skirt for the bottom of the candy cane. So you can use ribbon, but I just figured we'll try something different and see how we like it. So we're going to do this candy cane this way with the bottom of the skirt. And then later on, I'll show you how to do the candy cane with the ribbon. So if it's easy for you to attach it to the front, that's fine. And if not, just flip it over to the back and do it the way I am and just twist it. And we're just going to fill the first two parts of the Candy King sections with the netting. Now, you can also buy the cutting tool at Walmart, and I'm quite sure Joanne sells it also. So, just look around and check. Because, like I said, if you're going to do tubing, I would definitely invest. Because, like I said, I bought two of those Dollar Tree um, cuttings, and they could barely cut the, um, the tubing. Also, with the netting, if you're going to use, like, say, for this Christmas, you're going to use a lot of white and red candy cane, then it might be better to go to maybe Walmart Hobby Lobby or Michael and buy the big tubes. Now, if you're going to make different designs and different colors, then, you know, get it from Dollar Tree. But you want to get the best bang for your money. So sometimes it is better to buy more supplies. Now, I got this ribbon from the dollar store. What we're going to do is put a little hot glue there and we're going to attach the ribbon to the frame and then just wrap it around. It's um, better, no matter where you get your ribbon from, if you're going to do frames and you want to do bows, it's always better to buy ribbon with wire because it lets you shape your bows a little better than ribbon that does have no wiring. And so, like I said, once we attach this with glue, we're just going to wrap it all the way around to the top of the candy cane. Now, 
And once we get to the top of the candy cane, what we're going to do is just cut the ribbon and glue it to the back of the frame. And we're going to put it aside and go ahead and work on our bow. Now we have our ribbon. I got this from the dollar store. We're going to fold it over. I'm going to do about six inches. You can do it longer or shorter and just fold it over to you satisfy. You can use the whole row. A lot of these Dollar Tree ribbon, I think it is best just to use the whole um, roll depending on how many reefs you're going to make. Once we have it folded over, we're going to cut it. I like to take the ribbon and fold it in half in the middle and put little slits on each side of the ribbon so you can put your chanel stem or your ribbon or your twist tie whatever you're going to use to attach your ribbons together you put them in that little slip so just be careful when you are cutting those slips And once we have all our ribbon together, we're going to place them on top. And then, like I said, we're going to take a chenille stem and wrap it around and tie it. And this way, we're going to use that same chenille stem to attach it to our frame. Once you have it tight around the ribbon, I do it twice, tie a little knot, and then we start fluffing out our ribbon. After we fluff out our bows, we're going to take the ends of our ribbon and we're going to cut it across to give it like a clean cut. And we're going to do that for all of the endings of the ribbon before we attach it to our candy cane.
You're going to take this Shanem stem and you're going to wrap it around the candy cane. Um, once you wrap it, if you're not satisfied and you think it may come off, you can always just attach a little hot glue. But once we have our bowl on top of the candy cane, we're going to fluff it out. And then we are done with this DIY. Now, I got this wreath from Hobby Lobby. It was $14.99 with 50% off, and I got all these picks. And they were like $2.99, $3.99 with 50% off. Now, Dollar Tree hasn't come out with their um, wreaths yet, so which is surprising, or the garland that you can use to wrap. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to fluff out this wreath and set it up so we can go ahead and put our snowmen on this wreath. Now I'm going to take the stick and I'm going to wrap it around the pole in the back of the wreath. Now you don't have to do this, you can take a wire cutter, cut the uh, stem off and then just hot glue the snowman to the reef. So I end up taking the stem off and just adding a little hot glue to the back and just laying it down on top of the reef. And now we're going to add some picks to our wreath. And what we're going to do is to put them in. And like I said, you can do it the same way. Take the stem of the pick and wrap it around the frame or on the back part of it, of the bottom of the pick. You can just add some hot glue, whatever works easier for you. Because like I said, sometimes they wrap around with no problem. And you can just take it like I'm doing here and twisting the end around the top part of it and it's secure. And if it doesn't work that way, and you're not happy with it, take a branch and wrap it around the pig. And now what I'm going to do is take some mesh and I'm going to use the branch and I'm going to just add the red and white candy stripe mesh to the sides of the reef. Adding the mesh is optional. I'm making this reef for my girlfriend's grandchildren. Now you can make your loops as big as you want or as small. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the outside and then I'm going to come back and do the inside with the mesh until all the mesh is gone. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love it if you stuck around by joining our family. Also, if you hit that notification button, it just lets you know every time that I upload a video. And if you hit the like button, it just lets me know that you enjoyed the video. Um, leave a comment. I would love if everyone left me a comment. Let me know which of these DIYs is their favorite and which one are they going to make for themselves or give away as a gift.
once we're done adding our mesh, I'm going to add these peppermint. I got them from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99 with 50% off. So we're going to add two to our wreath. Now, I also got this um, pick from Hobby Lobby. It was $2.99, 50% off. I'm going to cut the lollipops off the stem, and I'm going to give each snowman a lollipop. We're just going to add a little hot glue to the snowman's hand and wrap it around the stem of the lollipop. And once we have all three lollipops in, we're done with this DIY. Now we're going to take this ribbon that we got from the dollar store and we're going to wrap it around the bottom part of the candy cane. And once we have that fixed, we're going to take a little hot glue and attach the ribbon to the frame. And once you have your ribbon secure, you're going to take it and wrap it around the ribbon that you already have on it one time, but you're going to pull it tight. And then from there on, add a little glue. And we're just going to keep doing the same thing. We're going to pull it. Now, you don't have to use hot glue all the way through. So just go a couple times, add a little glue, go a couple more times. But make sure as you're adding the glue and that you're wrapping it, that you're pulling the ribbon tight around the frame. When adding the hot glue, just add just a little bit and try to do it to the frame of the candy cane and not the actual ribbon. So that way it won't show through once you're done. And all we're going to do is continue to wrap the ribbon around the candy cane. Now, when you get to the top of the candy cane, just a little glue, pull it around really tight. And we're going to make sure the frame is covered. And then we're just going to cut it and glue it to the back of the candy cane. And once we have our ribbon secure, we're going to put the candy cane to the side and go work on our bow. And here we're going to make a big bow, so we're just going to fold it over. Like I said, with your bows, you can make them as big, as small as you want. This one right here, we're going to make a big bow. Fold it over. Once you're satisfied, I flipped it over three times. I'm going to cut it. And then we're just going to fold it and make the little slits in the middle so that we can add our ribbon or your twine. We're going to take the twine and put it right in between those two little cuts. And then we're just going to tie a knot. And we're going to do it twice. And then we're going to start fluffing out our bow.
Now I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby with $6.99 with 50% off. Now as we're fluffing out our bows, I realized I did an odd number instead of an even number, which is okay sometimes, but here it's not because I got two loops on one side and one loop on the other. So we're just going to go ahead and ducktail the ends and then I'm going to cut another piece of the ribbon. I'm going to fold it in half and yes, we're going to glue it inside of the other bow. And once the glue is settled, we're just going to go ahead and puff it out and no one will know the difference. And now we're going to take a little hot glue, add it to the back of our bow, and we're going to attach it to the candy cane. And when you fluff out this bow, nobody can tell that it's not made within the ribbon. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just go ahead and retake the ribbon out and redo it and make your bow smaller. Now, once I have this attached, I decided, you know what? Let's add a bell. So I got one of the bells from the dollar store. And we're going to add it on to top of the bow. Now I did add a little piece of greenery around the top of the bow. So it could help me secure the bell to the reef. Now you don't have to do that. But it did help. I'm also going to brush a little white paint across the greenery to give it this snow effect. You can do this or just leave the greenery as is. But like I said, that little piece of greenery did help the bell stick to the ribbon. Well, my loves, that is the end of our fun and easy DIY. If you're new, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button. So you can go on this journey with us. If you hit the notification button, it just lets you know every time I upload a video. And I need everyone to hit the like button to help my channel to grow. All three are free. If you're returning, you are truly appreciated. I'd like to thank everyone for taking time out of your day to watch my video and go on this journey with me. Have a blessed day. Remember, it costs nothing to be kind. We will see you in our next video. And on your way out, hit that like button and enjoy the rest of your day.